Welcome back, Brief Calculus students. Today we're going to work on finding a logistics model to some given data. Here's the situation. WSI, or Web Sales Incorporated, has put up a new site, and they're charting the number of new site hits for each day that the site has been up. So you have the data here. And we're going to find the best logistic model to fit the data. Now, you wouldn't necessarily know offhand it would be logistic. I'm telling you it is in this case. We could look at the dots on the graph to determine its logistic, but I wanted to make sure we all did the rest of these problems the same, so I'm just giving you that information up front. So you have the information, and you have the data here. So at this point time, we want you to work the problem now. So use the data that's given here, and work each of these problems as you see it. Then come hit pause on this video while you're doing that, and then come back. Okay, so assuming you've paused and we're back. So let's see how we would do this problem. First, we need to put the data in. You would do that by pressing Stats and Edit. And I've already typed all the data into L1 and L2 in the statistics part of the calculator. Now we want to actually use that data to find the logistic model. So I'm going to type Stat, select Calculate, and go down the list till I find Logistic and hit Enter. Hitting Enter again runs it and will now calculate the model for me. process takes a few seconds on the calculator. And we get y equals c over 1 plus ae, so, and c is 357.71 over 1 plus a is 75.3 e to the negative bx, negative 0.647 x. So this is our model. We want to graph that model. We're also going to graph our data. So I'm going to press y equals. Now to make the model jump in so I don't have to type it, I press variables. Number five is statistics. Move to equations. And voila, the equation jumps in without the problem of typing it. I'm going to do a zoom stat to get a quick look at the data and the model. Now it would help if I would actually turned the stat plot on. So go to second stat plot, hit enter, turn it on, and we'll read you our graph and we see the data and our actual model fitting to the data. Let's take a look at what window the calculator has chosen here. And I'm not liking that window at all. Negative 4.2 to 15. I want to go from 0 through 15 would be reasonable. But why min 0 and it looks like I have a maximum of at least 361. So I'm going to go to say 400. Look at the graph in this window, it'll be much better. Okay, so we have our data on our graph and we can see that it does seem to be a logistic model. The 357.71 is the limit that this would be approaching as a horizontal line here. So uh, obviously that's a bit odd, we're already over that. Well, it's doing the best it can with all this data. So there are errors in the model, it can't possibly fit a logistics perfectly to 13 different points, 14 points in this case. Now we're gonna use this model to find and we're going to use the model specifically, not the data, to see what we would find as far as the change, the percent change, and the average rate of change between days 10 and 15. So I need to know what happened at day 10. Second calc, value, x equals 10, and I'm getting 320.35. Point three six, And then we also need day 15. 356.107. Okay, the change is merely subtracting one number from the other. So to answer the question of change, it's going to be 356 minus 320. Okay. 35.71 hits. We have an increase of 35.71 hits. Now we're going to analyze that as a percent change. To do that, I simply take 35.71 and divide it by the number that we started with. In other words, day 10, 320.36. I find it went up 0.11 or 11.15% an increase. Average rate of change, well, it went up 35.71 and that was over five days. And we get a number of 7.142 hits per day. Average rate of change is the slope. And to show what all three of these mean on the graph, 
Okay. The next page I have a graph. So I'm going to just freehand what the function kind of looked like. At day 10, we were here. And day 15, outside of our data, we were here. The total change is the difference between these two numbers, the y value here, the f of x value there, and here. So how much did it go up? Percent change is expressing this change as a percent of how big this is. And instead it went up 11 percent, seems reasonable, about one-tenth of that amount. Average rate of change is actually the slope of this line segment here. And very soon we'll begin talking about instantaneous rate of changes, which are slopes at precisely a point. For example, slope along here might be an instantaneous rate of change. Still a slope, so its units will be new hits per day. Or in this case, yeah, new hits per day. Okay, so hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this presentation, and I'll be making more for your class soon.